Hi, my name is Chris Emery with Safari Club International. We're here at the International Wildlife Museum in Tucson, Arizona. Not only does this museum depict a wide variety of game animals, but it also serves as a tool to help promote wildlife conservation all over the world. Now let's go take a look inside. So here we have the educational room of the International Wildlife Museum where we have a number of antlers and horns laid out so that children can come through and actually use their hands and touch the, the horns and the antlers and get a feel for what they, uh, they feel like and as well as become familiar with the diagrams which explain the differences between horns and antlers. So here we have the uh, kind of the evolution of taxidermy. Um, as you can see here we have some of the original forms of, uh, that was used for taxidermy. Uh, here is a, a caribou mount and an African lion and this, uh, this mule deer here as you can actually see that there is twine as well as the original skull in this taxidermy mount, which is quite different from the way that we, uh, we do taxidermy today using foam body mounts um, where we don't use the original skulls. And here on the wall we have the, uh, the actual step-by-step -step process of you know, how animals are mounted. And in this particular example they're showing a, a bobcat where you would actually start out measuring hide and, uh, and getting everything prepared into forming the ears and then assembling the body and then adjusting the final details and putting those finishing touches on the animals which give it that really artistic design um, that everyone you know really likes to see and makes that animal pop. So here we have uh, the part of the museum which is illustrating the different dynamics between predators and prey. You'll see here that we have the uh, bobcat going after the quail as well as some wolves preying upon the caribou. Um, and we have other situations which, uh, this is our North America example, and then we have some from Africa with the leopard and the steambok and the honey badgers, uh, as well as some, uh, some other ones from North America like our mountain lion attacking the uh, antelope. Uh, these all demonstrate uh, natural predator-prey relationships uh, which occur in the wild. So this room here is part of our rotating exhibit that we have at the International Wildlife Museum. Here right now we're currently highlighting the research that we're conducting in Africa um, on lions. So this here is part of the, the initiative to help lion conservation. And as you can see here on the wall we have diagrams that set up that talk about the distribution as well as the biology of lions and really tell the whole background story of um, why it's important to, to conserve lions and what hunters are doing um, as conservationists to help protect lions. So here we're standing in the C.J. McElroy room of the museum. C.J. McElroy is the original founder of SCI. This room is actually designed after C.J. McElroy's original trophy room that he had inside of his house. All of the animals that you see throughout this, uh, this room were Many of them were his original trophies. And as you can see, many of them are very large, uh, top record book animals that C.J. McElroy originally owned. In this room, we have over 200 different species. We have everything from Alaska brown bear, to your mule deer, to animals from Africa, like your Central African eland, your bongo, your small dictics and dikers, to animals of the South Pacific, and just a wide diversity of animals from all around the world.